now that we know about mean median and mode let's discuss about uh, which of these measures can be more useful in different circumstances so when is a median better descriptor so obviously mean seems to be the most natural uh, descriptor if we have a bunch of data we try to find what is the average of that but in certain situations median is much more useful so let's explore those situations so let's say we have the salaries of employees and these are in us dollars and let's say we have data of seven employees so 50k 52k 49k 47 52 55 and one of the employees has 500k maybe a very senior guy so uh, now if somebody asks what is the typical salary of this group in the company so this may be a small group inside a big company or this may be a small firm itself so if somebody asks what's the typical salary then uh, if you see the mean is 115k so is mean a good answer here so we see that uh, six out of seven employees have a salary which is way less than 115 not even close to 115 all are around 50k mark but due to this one salary this mean is uh, becoming very high so this is not a good descriptor because this is not a typical salary in this group typical salary seems to be somewhere around 50 but if on the other hand we find the median median says that median salary is 52k that means half of the employees are below 52k half are above 52k so this is a pretty uh, natural division in this case and uh, right when you see it you see that typically it's around 50k which is reflected in the median and we see that mean is greatly influenced by extreme observations for example in this case 500 was the extreme observations which was very different from the others and that impacted the mean if we uh, remove this salary then the mean would be around 50k only which will be very close to median but mean is very uh, sensible uh, very susceptible to be affected by extreme observations and income and price data generally follow this pattern now let's see uh, how this impacts how this is impacted by the skewness of data how are mean and median impacted by this so in this case uh, this is a right skewed data because you can see a very long right tail so this is right skewed and this is again uh, the salary and this is the count number of employees so you see that most of the employees are having salaries in this range but if we compute the mean it can be somewhere around uh, this mark so in this case uh, median would be obviously somewhere around this 150 itself maybe slightly more or maybe slightly less but median would be here which would correctly reflect divide the data but mean would be high due to some of the outliers so there is hardly any uh, number of significant number of employees earning more than 250k but still it goes beyond 500k and this uh, increases the mean so mean here is more than median so in these cases median is a better estimator similarly this is a left skewed data because there is a long left tail and this is the student scores so maximum score is uh, 100 so out of that there are very little students who have a score there is no student scoring 10 there are a few two or three two students scoring 20 very little 30 40 similarly 50 most of the students are in this range 70 80 90 and some also 100 so if uh, we take the mean here mean would be very less around 50 to 60 so in this case mean is less than median in the case of left skewness so in this case if somebody asks what's the typical score in this subject then it's very likely that you should say between 70 to 90 
but this mean is not in this range. And depending on whether our graph is left skewed or right skewed, mean will be less than median or in this case mean is more than median. 